Good evening everybody, it's a wonderful sunny day, a great evening to play football. It's quite warm at the moment but then temperatures are going to cool down which I think will benefit the players. But yeah, cracking day and it's going to be a big game. Already six games in we've got a must win, quite frankly. The Iron, despite, to be honest, having a very difficult start to the season in terms of fixtures, are still 13 points from 15 and that puts us top of the table. That's a great place to be. Well done, Scunthorpe. Some difficult fixtures. And um, yeah, cracking set of results, quite frankly. Last time at home was a draw. So that's a little caveat. But we'll see how we get on. Tonight's game is an interesting one. Because we are playing the second team. Kidderminster Harriers. Arguably the second biggest team in the league. After Scunthorpe United. Their stadium holds 7,000. Maybe they don't quite get those crowds, but it does suggest they are one of the bigger clubs, having just been relegated as well into this league. If we have a look at the table, Scunthorpe are on 13 points in first place. Second place, Kidderminster on 12, only one point behind us. And then third and fourth place, Scarborough and Kirsten Ashton, respectively, both on 10. So if my flimsy maths is correct, um, Scunthorpe, in theory, could go four points clear if they win tonight, depending how other results go. So obviously, if we win, that puts us on 16 points. Kidderminster will be on 12. Scarborough and Curzon, if they lose, will still be on 10. I think it's unlikely that uh, things would work out like that, though. But, you know, you never know. My point is, it could easily go the other way. Scunthorpe could lose, and all the other three teams could win. That would put Kidderminster on 15, Scunthorpe on 13, and Scarborough and Curzon and Ashton... Again, if my rubbish maths is right, we'll also be on 13 points. So something like that um, certainly wouldn't be uh, a great situation. So a big game here. It's really going to uh, see how uh, we're going to have to see how things play out. But um, one of the biggest games of the season already. Following that as well, we've got Curzon, who are currently in fourth place away. Warrington, I think they're kind of mid-table at home. And then after that is um, the nearest really we get to a local derby, I think. Scarborough Athletic away as well. Obviously, they're currently in third place. Maybe, maybe some other teams that are like five miles nearer. I don't know. I'm not sure this season, but Scarborough, come on, that's the one that's going to feel like a local derby. A lot of tickets have already been sold at the Attis Arena. The online Facebook page for the football club is saying nearly 4,500 sold, which would make the stadium half full. Or half empty, depending on your outlook. Kidderminster, um, by the way, are looking really good. They beat a struggling Oxford City side 4-0 um, at home in Kidderminster just the other day. So they can certainly score a few goals. I was hoping that someone like the BBC would keep a list of current top goal scorers for the league or for the football teams. If you know anywhere that does that, let me know, please. Uh, the BBC doesn't seem to bother doing it for the National League North. So that's fantastic. But I've noticed that Beresford and Hemmings have been knocking a few goals in. So they might be a couple of players to uh, keep an eye on. Also, according to the internet, so it must be true, the boss of the football team, uh, um, Kidman Harry is, is actually one Phil Brown from a whole city gaffer. whose fall from grace, with all due respect, almost mirrors Scunthorpe's fall from grace in the... Uh, the last few years, but uh, hey, race you back to the National League, I guess. Going to be a good game. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of goals in this one. I've got to back my own side, haven't I? So I'm reckoning it's going to be a 3-2 to Scunthorpe. Um, I've got a feeling it might be a match that has a bit of controversy. Um, like the last home game, uh, frankly, appalling refereeing uh, went in Scunthorpe's favour on the last occasion but it, again it just shows the quality hopefully it is a good match hopefully we have a competent referee um, I'm not going to hold my breath on that one but fingers crossed for a great game hopefully Kidderminster bring a lot even though it's on a Friday night because <sighs> National League North but yeah should be a cracking game so enjoy everybody uh, strap in it's going to be a tough one, going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to this. Come on, the iron. 3-2 is my prediction. Let's go.